And another really important part for us um, that I believe in, in everything is uh, empowerment is key. When people feel heard and valued and part of something, that their, that their opinion matters, they buy into it. Not just, there's two points to education, not just uh, educating others, but educating ourselves. Um, and again, that comes with talking to the community um, and your teams and finding out why do people litter. We can't just tell them, don't litter or don't use plastic. You know, why are they so dependent on plastic? We have to come up with solutions, not just tell them, don't do it. Um, we, have to, we have to talk um, and come up with solutions. Uh, so, yeah, challenges for us with implementing all of this, our biggest challenge uh, was with suppliers because once we could control what's in our walls, um, but it was difficult uh, when we're getting produce and things delivered and it's wrapped in plastic. And so that was really challenging, um, really challenging um, because we weren't just becoming plastic-free front of house for the guests. We were going the full hog like back of house operations which in a big hotel with uh, kitchen departments and and or 10 different departments there's a lot it's it, it's a really big um big project um and that's where Sarah was able to help us hugely um and I so one of the surprises for me in doing all of this is just how I don't want to say easy because it wasn't easy it was a long process but one, I was thinking that the biggest challenge was going to be changing the mindset of the team, but it wasn't. Uh, Sarah came in and did training with us, um, the first training that she did with us. And how much they bought into it after that, I wasn't in the first session and I caught up with them and Sarah afterwards and it was just phenomenal uh, how much they bought in and how much they took it all on board. But in the back of my mind, I was a bit pessimistic and I was thinking, they're just saying this to pacify me and because it's what I want to hear. Um, but they weren't. And then Sarah said to me after those first trainings, she said, oh, I'll be back in, I think it was eight weeks, uh, to do a follow-up audit. Um, and all of a sudden I was like, Oh God, this is a lot bigger than what, than what I had anticipated. Um, and how am I going to make this happen in eight weeks? You know, like being the perfectionist I am, I was like, we have to get rid of everything. Everything has to be perfect when she comes back to do this order in eight weeks. Um, and yeah, I was just like, we're going to fail. This is not going to be good. Um, but within the first week or two after that first training, my team took the ball and ran with it and didn't stop. So it didn't stop at eliminating plastic. It became, we were um, composting. We were, you know, we weren't able to find a lot of the things that we needed, um, whether it be bin liners or, um, you know, when we were trying to get our bamboo amenities, you know, we were finding them, but they'd still all arrive in plastic. Um, and we couldn't find certain baskets and things. So we, we started making them ourselves. We made all our takeaway food containers, all our carry baskets for guests, all our um, linen bags, all of it. Um, so yeah, they just did such a phenomenal job. And again, this goes back to getting them to buy into it and empowering them. Um, and yeah, they just took it and, and ran with it. Um, and I was so incredibly proud and uh, really excited to have <laughs> Sarah come back and do the audit and show off uh, what the team had been able to do.